The five supplements you should never mix with creatine. The number one is the most dangerous, and you should never mix it with creatine because this supplement could be sabotaging your gains. Additionally, combining creatine with other supplements can, in some cases, lead to negative interactions. These interactions may reduce the effectiveness of creatine, increase the risk of unwanted side effects, or even cause harm to your health. That's why you should know which supplements not to mix with creatine. Number five, excessive caffeine. Caffeine is a widely used stimulant in the United States, especially by those who train daily. It's known for boosting energy and focus, making it a common ally for improving workout performance. However, excessive caffeine consumption can interfere with creatine's effectiveness, diminishing the benefits of this supplement. Studies indicate that caffeine can increase dehydration and reduce the efficiency of creatine transport to the muscles, making it harder to achieve desired results. This happens because caffeine has diuretic properties, which can lead to excessive fluid loss in the body. This dehydration can affect not only physical performance, but also muscle recovery. Additionally, combining high doses of caffeine and creatine can overload the cardiovascular system. This can lead to increased blood pressure and heart rate, which is harmful to your health. While this doesn't mean you should completely avoid caffeine when using creatine, it's essential to maintain a balance in your doses. Some studies suggest that moderate doses of caffeine do not negatively affect performance when using creatine. Therefore, caution is always recommended. If you consume caffeine, consider moderating the amount or choosing times when you are not taking creatine. Changing your intake timing can be a great solution to avoid potential negative interactions. Additionally, it's crucial to maintain proper hydration during supplementation to prevent damage to your body and kidneys. Make sure to drink enough water throughout the day, especially when taking supplements like creatine. Staying hydrated not only supports creatine's effectiveness, but also helps minimize caffeine's adverse effects, ensuring you get the most out of both supplements. Remember, balance is key. When incorporating caffeine into your supplementation routine, always listen to your body and adjust your doses as needed. A mindful approach not only maximizes results, but also promotes better overall health. Later in this video, we'll reveal the worst supplement you should never mix with creatine. So make sure to do leave a like and subscribe to the Health & Focus channel to avoid missing any of our videos. Number 4. Diuretics Diuretics are commonly used to reduce water retention in the body, especially by people looking to decrease bloating or improve muscle definition. However, when it comes to creatine supplementation, the use of diuretics should be avoided. This is because creatine directly relies on proper hydration to function effectively, and diuretics can drastically reduce the amount of water available to the muscles. Creatine works by increasing the amount of water inside muscle cells, which improves strength, muscle volume, and recovery. When you use diuretics, water is flushed out through urine, which can interfere with this process. This can result in reduced creatine absorption by the muscles, significantly diminishing its benefits. In other words, supplementation may become ineffective, compromising expected results like increased strength and muscle growth. Beyond reducing creatine's effectiveness, dehydration caused by diuretics can lead to other problems. Lack of water in the body can cause early fatigue muscle cramps, and, in more severe cases, increase the risk of injury during exercise. Since muscles rely on proper hydration to function correctly, any significant reduction in water levels can compromise workout performance, especially in high-intensity activities like weightlifting, running, and cycling. Another critical point is that diuretics can interfere with the body's electrolyte levels. Electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and magnesium 
are essential for muscle function and fluid balance. When there's an electrolyte imbalance, the body may experience cramps, dizziness, irregular heartbeats, and even more serious complications. This is especially dangerous for people who need to maintain hydration and electrolyte balance during intense anno and prolonged workouts. Therefore, if you are using diuretics, it's crucial to exercise extra caution when considering creatine supplementation. Before starting any supplement regimen, consult a doctor or nutritionist. These professionals can assess your individual situation and ensure that you are taking the necessary precautions to avoid adverse interactions between diuretics and creatine. Additionally, make sure your fluid intake is adequate. Drinking enough water is essential to prevent dehydration and maintain electrolyte balance in the body. Staying hydrated helps mitigate the negative effects of both diuretics and creatine promoting a safer and more effective environment for supplementation. The combination of diuretics and this supplement is not recommended. To get all the benefits of creatine and ensure your health and physical performance, it's best to avoid using both substances simultaneously to prevent further harm to your body. If you truly need diuretics for medical or personal reasons, Always consult a healthcare professional to determine the best way to manage your supplements and avoid complications. Number three, other water retention supplements. Some supplements are specifically formulated to promote water retention in the body. While they may provide a temporary increase in weight and muscle volume, these supplements can cause a feeling of bloating, discomfort, and in some cases, even body aches. When combined with creatine, which also contributes to water retention within muscle cells, the effect can be intensified, leading to excessive fluid retention. This additional retention can not only cause discomfort, but also hinder your performance during workouts. Excess water in the body can result in a feeling of lethargy and reduce agility, making it harder to achieve your fitness goals. This happens because fluid retention can interfere with muscle definition, creating the sensation that your body is bloated rather than more defined or toned. This combination of supplements can paradoxically slow down your muscle mass gains instead of speeding up the expected results. Supplements that promote water retention often include products like nitric oxide or certain pre-workouts that promise a muscular pump a sensation of increased vascularity and temporary volume during workouts. While this effect may be desirable for those seeking a fuller look during training, like you and me, the excess water retention they cause can impair creatine's effectiveness and negatively impact the body's water balance. Furthermore, the simultaneous use of creatine with these supplements can overburden the kidneys and cardiovascular system as both increase the need to eliminate excess fluids. The body requires proper hydration to process and eliminate this additional water effectively. When this balance is disrupted, you risk experiencing fatigue, muscle cramps, and even slower post-workout recovery, which can be detrimental for older individuals. Therefore, it's crucial to be mindful of your intake of supplements that promote water retention and avoid mixing them with creatine without clear guidance. A balanced approach is always recommended. Consult a nutritionist or supplement specialist to ensure you are using the right products to achieve your goals without compromising your health or physical performance. In addition to monitoring your supplement combinations, Make sure you stay well hydrated and drink the appropriate amount of water daily. Proper hydration not only helps to minimize the negative effects of water retention, but also supports the effective transport of nutrients, leading to better results in muscle mass gain and body definition. While some supplements may seem promising due to the temporary muscle volume increase, mixing them with creatine can be counterproductive. Pay attention to these products and prioritize an approach that takes water balance and long-term performance into account. This way, you can optimize your results 
without facing the adverse effects of excessive water retention. Number 2. Ephedrine or Similar Substances Ephedrine is a stimulant often used to increase thermogenesis and aid in fat burning. While it can be effective for those looking to boost their metabolism, its use combined with creatine can be extremely harmful. This is because the combination of these two substances puts extra strain on the heart, resulting in a significant increase in heart rate and blood pressure. Creatine, on the other hand, ashay, is a supplement that increases water retention in the muscles and promotes strength and muscle mass gain. However, ephedrine can cause dehydration, which directly negates one of creatine's main benefits. Without proper hydration, creatine cannot function efficiently, and the risk of severe dehydration increases, especially during intense workouts. Another critical point is that ephedrine acts as a vasoconstrictor, meaning it restricts blood flow, which can limit the supply of blood to the muscles. This opposes the effects of creatine, which requires adequate blood flow to ensure that the muscles receive sufficient nutrients and oxygen to maximize results. With the simultaneous use of these substances, rather than aiding muscle growth, you may be hindering your muscle development and recovery. The interaction between creatine and ephedrine not only affects physical performance, but can also significantly increase the risk of cardiovascular problems. The combination of these two supplements can be especially dangerous for individuals with pre-existing heart conditions, such as hypertension or arrhythmia. The risk of complications, such as heart palpitations, tachycardia, increased heart rate, and even more severe events like heart attacks, increases considerably. Additionally, substances with effects similar to ephedrine, such as certain fat burners or stimulants found in pre-workout supplements, can also cause these same issues. Powerful stimulants tend to overload the cardiovascular system, especially when combined with creatine, which already alters how the body utilizes water and nutrients. Therefore, avoiding the use of ephedrine or similar substances in conjunction with creatine is crucial for protecting your health. Even though these products may seem appealing for speeding up fat burning or enhancing performance, the associated risks far outweigh the potential benefits, especially in the long term. The extra strain on the heart and cardiovascular system can lead to serious complications, putting your health at risk. Before starting any supplementation, it is essential to consult a healthcare professional or nutritionist. They can assess your overall health status, needs, and goals, and recommend safe and suitable supplements for you. Remember that safety should always be a priority when considering any type of substance that could affect your cardiovascular health or muscular system. Ephedrine or any other stimulant with similar effects should be avoided when using creatine. Prioritize your health and well-being and seek safer and more balanced alternatives to optimize your results without compromising the proper functioning of your heart and muscles. Number 1. Glucose or High Glycemic Index Carbohydrate Supplements Carbohydrates play a fundamental role in muscle recovery and energy replenishment after intense workouts. However, combining creatine with large amounts of glucose or high glycemic index carbohydrates can create problems in your body. While it is common to use carbohydrates as a quick energy replenishment method, Excessive consumption of these nutrients, especially those that cause insulin spikes, can interfere with the effectiveness of creatine. When you consume a large amount of high glycemic index carbohydrates, such as refined sugar or highly processed foods, there is a rapid increase in blood glucose levels, which stimulates the body to release insulin. This insulin spike can paradoxically hinder the optimal absorption of creatine by the muscles. While insulin is necessary for transporting nutrients to muscle cells, when these spikes are too high or frequent, they can divert the body's focus to blood sugar regulation instead of optimizing creatine transport and storage. 
In addition to interfering with creatine absorption, these insulin spikes can lead to fluctuations in energy levels. Initially, you may feel a burst of energy shortly after consuming high glycemic index carbohydrates, but that energy dissipates quickly, resulting in a feeling of fatigue. During workouts, this can be especially problematic as your body may not have the sustained energy level needed to maintain optimal performance. Many report experiencing unexplained muscle fatigue during workouts, even after regularly taking creatine. This may be related to this inadequate combination of creatine and rapidly absorbed carbohydrates. A more balanced approach would be to opt for low glycemic index carbohydrate sources, such as oats, sweet potatoes, or brown rice. These foods release energy more slowly and steadily, avoiding spikes and sharp drops in blood glucose levels. This way, your body maintains a sustained energy level throughout the workout without compromising the benefits of creatine. By consuming low glycemic index carbohydrates, you allow creatine to be absorbed more efficiently ensuring your muscles get the maximum benefit from the supplement. Another important point is the timing of when you consume these nutrients. Avoid ingesting large amounts of high glycemic index carbohydrates immediately before or shortly after creatine supplementation. This can result not only in insulin spikes, but also in an imbalance between energy supply and muscle recovery capacity. Therefore, it is essential to find a balance in your diet, especially if you are training regularly and using supplements like creatine. Furthermore, combining low glycemic index carbohydrates with a good source of protein can further optimize your muscle recovery. Proteins are essential for repairing muscle tissue after exercise, and when consumed with the right carbohydrates, they can enhance protein synthesis and maximize strength and muscle mass gains. This balanced combination of nutrients helps stabilize your blood glucose levels, avoiding undesirable fluctuations and ensuring that creatine performs its role effectively. While carbohydrates are essential for performance and muscle recovery, it is crucial to pay attention to the type and amount of carbohydrates consumed when supplementing with creatine. Insulin spikes resulting from high glycemic index carbohydrates can hinder the absorption and effectiveness of creatine, as well as cause energy fluctuations and fatigue. Opt for low glycemic index carbohydrate sources and strive to maintain a balanced diet to optimize your results and avoid unwanted complications. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Check out the videos on our channel where we discuss more about creatine.